Okay, where did that bullet come from? <laughs> what? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna discuss like the newer things for today's patch update. Uh, I did mention in the last video that it was supposed to be next week. That was my mistake. It was teased the week before and the update is this week. So I'm just correcting that. And right off the bat, you'll see the season is extended for approximately two more months. So 54 days until the next outbreak. And this is kind of funny. The if you see the screen, the countdown's not even moving. <laughs> countdown's not even moving. Even the auto close for this uh, screen is not moving for some reason. But okay. As soon as you log in, you'll see a different view for your Firefly hideout or your beginning screen for the game. So they changed the view again. But again, once you move, it'll be back to normal. Yeah, you'll see some certain differences. They added this part of the wall of your weapon rack it doesn't really add any value more of like aesthetic like a design uh, kind of thing really cool though there's some random pictures there though i don't know nothing much uh different but yeah it's okay it's a good addition like eh it's meh it's okay so as i've said like season 8 will begin either late january i think right at the end of january or early february they are leaning on the reason that majority of the fireflies do not have the serum yet so they're kind of saying it's entirely your fault guys that's why the season is extending i don't know uh, that's just me but basically saying it's because that majority of the players do not have the serum that's why we're extending the season whereas there should be a more clear explanation as to why we're doing this i think that's a better way to approach the situation like the community would understand if there are like issues or there are specific delays in their projects or their pipelines for changes or developments like the community would understand at least we at least give us some transparency to what is actually happening behind the scenes we don't have to know the entire thing like just give us an idea of what's going on and why we're extending the season i scrolled through like discord and everybody's just wondering like what why why extend the season but take note that they have done this before they have extended the season before in previous seasons i can't really recall which season if you guys remember which like let me know in the comments below it's not a bad thing it's okay if they're extending the season i guess i guess we get more season seven for two more months but I just wish they would be more transparent with their decision. Next update, they are doing a spray can event right here, as you can see. Uh, if you want this like uh, floral white spray can right here, the Sakura spray can, uh, you can redeem it for 40 coins. I guess one spray can for 40 coins. The daily missions are the same, same as how the targeted serum event was. So you should be familiar with that spray can giveaways are good why because these spray cans especially the solid color ones they are worth a lot of money if you can buy these in a lot like if you can buy all of these like let's say 40 spray cans they're worth a lot of money so i'll actually show you guys what i mean one blue spray can one chrysanthemum iron blue spray can is around 100k that's already a lot and if you're you can sell 10 pieces of these you're already guaranteed 1 million new pounds minus the transaction fee this is a big help if you are saving up money to buy the targeted serum from heidi's store or from the black market this is one way for you to earn easy money by selling these spray cans but they have to be solid in color i'm not sure if players also want to buy these other uh, spray cans that are uh, camos but it's worth a try as well like try out any of these spray cans to sell in the black market when i was reading through the patch notes and digging around the game i noticed something like unique like because once you reopen your game from the patch update you'll see all of this the gili set the shadow assassin the inquisitor and the operator draws they're all active again for the entire month of december if you haven't gotten the chance to get these operator skins 
uh, I, mean, I guess this is your chance for a month matching it with how they're extending the season it already looks like a cash grab I don't know man I, I have no words like they extended the season and took that opportunity to like also earn some money from it I'm just piecing this together I feel like they extended the season just to be able to sell these skins as well I don't understand what they're doing I don't know is it a coincidence that all of the draws are available now once they extended the season and why is this in Russian is this Russian what but yeah you guys can piece it together if you think it, they're doing something suspicious but I feel like it's a cash grab that they're extending the season and then re-releasing all of these gacha draws I am not encouraging you guys to spend money on this. Skin is not guaranteed. Unless it's like a skin that you can buy directly from the shop. Say this one. Okay, that's still bugged. My character is overlapping. <laughs> These are okay skins for you to buy. At least you get them right away for your money but with gacha draws there's like no guarantee for you to get these skins unless you spend a specific or a large amount of money so i really discourage you guys to to do that it's like a form of gambling actually so yeah i discourage you guys to do that okay next up they did an update for the storage but this requires you to have premium alpha membership the only way for you to do that is either you get a trial card for premium alpha or you buy it premium alpha is worth five Five dollars and premium beta is for ten dollars again i discourage you guys spending money on this game you don't really need this uh, feature like here auto sort then you go here to the auto storage it just just show you that the auto sort storage or auto storage is now more item specific that's just a more detailed approach in optimizing your storage it's one thing that you don't really need my advice don't use it like just rely on your own best judgment in uh, sorting your items which is fine okay next they added i know i know my rank is very low like i don't play the rank game i don't like it but they did add a new feature to rank mode uh, they added the ability to call in airdrops for rank mode do you play rank mode please let me know in the comments below i want to know they added the option to call in airdrops for you to get like additional supplies and weapons for the cost of your battle cards so i'm not gonna show it because i don't really play this game mode but I might do it in a separate video. They added a filter settings. I'm not really sure what that means because I filled around the game. I checked every setting that I could see. I also checked it on mobile and I couldn't see this filter settings that they're mentioning. I'm thinking it's maybe a video setting. Maybe it's like a graphical setting or your view adding a more uh, a tone of color to your character view. I don't know. That's my assumption, but you have yet to see what it's does actually okay my dog is stuck again <laughs> one more change that they did they adjusted a slight change they adjusted the loadout preference for your medicine so you can go here to your right side of your screen and once you like select a specific medical item you can pick where you want to equip them it's either your chest rig your backpack or your tactical saddle bag or your secure case and now we'll get to the good stuff so this door actually points outside of your shelter i don't know it doesn't make sense but yeah here's the new uh, shooting range as you can see it's outdoors and remember i went through a small door from my shelter right but if you look around you're at the gate <laughs> You're at the gate. Where's your door? Where's your shelter? How do you even get here? I don't understand. I don't know. This is the new shooting range. They're very proud of this because it's outdoors. Don't get me wrong here, guys. I, I fully support the game, but like criticism is also needed to be given. Do we actually need this? I'm not like raining on their parade. Don't get me wrong. I like this update. I like that they made this good change in like making the shooting range more appealing, but it functions the same. Like there's no specific change that happened aside from the design is it the change that we need right now that's the question that everybody's asking yes they changed the shooting range but what about this issue what about that issue what about why do i have 3000 bullets when i'm unarmed something like that couldn't we have focused on more important issues it also falls down to the developers having a uh, project timeline that they have to follow and maybe this is part of their project so i guess we can't really blame them maybe they're just following orders from the higher ups couldn't we have a focus more on like device optimization addressing cheaters aesthetically i like the design i like the look 
and everything so feel free to check out the new shooting range if you have it unlocked already next change is they made some specific adjustments in uh inspecting your weapon now you put it directly on your face like that okay i mean the second this second part is okay like you're tilting it sideways but this one like oh my god are you putting in your eye but even it's even worse for snipers like look at this the dr10 boom <laughs> i can't even see it anymore i can't even see the scope anymore like it's even closer than before the inspection for the weapons you feel free to like try out the other weapons but as i've noticed like all of these inspections are so close to your face like it doesn't make sense a better inspection that they have worked on is the pistol they added a lot of inspection elements to it so i'll go through them one by one so when you hold your inspect button you have three choices you either have the standard inspect the inspect mag and the bullet trick the bullet trick is the default one that we saw previous to this patch this one where you take out one bullet and open it like that next up is the inspect mag element right here so they accurately now show you how much bullets you have in your magazine so i'm gonna demo here i'm gonna be reducing the magazine by like let's say half get a bit more than half i guess if you look at the magazine now it's almost empty like you see oh yeah sorry this is also added to this inspection once you do this inspection if your bullets are below your magazine's max capacity your character will manually reload one by one per bullet your magazine so there so it stops at 17 because it already maxed out the mag capacity so let's try maxing it out oh, i say skip one and this should reload the bullet like 16 times oh yeah a side note with these inspections you can move around while doing this like with their latest update like the past updates you can also run while inspecting i don't really know the benefit of that bullet per bullet reload but i guess if you want to do it i mean it's not an issue like if you want to do it do it i guess if you want to look at your pistol reloading it's fine one other reload i found was the empty magazine reload do this and once i use my last bullet i will press on inspect button there you go but somehow i don't know why it uh, clicks back into place but yeah can do that again i feel like this still falls under the um i think it still falls under this one the inspect mag yeah and last but not the least is the standard which is i feel like the coolest inspection for this pistol because you just like place it like that empty bullets though okay where did that bullet come from <laughs> what i'm gonna reload yes i'm gonna reload I'll show you that inspection again. There you go. I think this is like the best one, the uh the best inspection that they have added as an animation. And the second best would be like this uh, bullet trick. Oh sorry, the inspect mag where you uh throw your pistol in the air. Like after you inspect the magazine, you're gonna throw your pistol and you're gonna catch it. There you go, like that. They also added a buff for inspection. Inspecting weapons will now accelerate your stamina recovery. So when you're out of stamina, it's advised for you to inspect your weapon. So inspecting weapons are sometimes forgotten. So I guess this is their way of like forcing you to inspect the weapon. So if you want to like get your stamina to fall faster, uh, try inspecting your weapon while you're waiting for your stamina to recover. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to our dark shelter. 
next few changes like these are the couple last ones as i mentioned in the last video they buffed the p90 and the svds they added this perk the power shots perk so it says here reduces the hit target's health regen by 70 percent for 15 seconds as far as i understand this uh, effect players will have a harder time to heal they'll consume more medical items as they're healing if they're affected by the shot so the p90 has 70 percent the svds has an 80 percent hit health regen debuff for 30 seconds this is a big buff for the svds i guess but the b11 sass is still a better option but yeah give it a try like if you guys like want to hunt down marauders specifically raymond or lions those are like most of the patch notes updates that they did for this uh, recent update let me know what you guys think like uh do you think these are good changes are these necessary changes did we need these updates like let me know in the comments below and i hope you guys like this kind of video where i run through the patch updates given that some of the patch updates are longer i might produce longer videos of these patch commentaries but i'm willing to do it if you guys like that so let me know like drop a like on this video comment if you enjoyed it and yeah i'll do more videos like these if you enjoy it thanks so much for watching guys and i hope to see you in the next video bye guys